Hello, Jim the Kayak Guy here. We have been keeping Florida black bears alive and people safe since 2016. This video, part two, added resistance, which was developed for persistent or larger bears and has been tested and approved by the Florida Wildlife Commission. Please watch my other video titled, How to Make Most Trash Cans Bear Resistant for installation instructions on the front straps. Between FWC contractors and my helpers, we have retrofitted thousands of trash cans all across Florida, which has saved many bears. This is the list of supplies for part two, the added resistance. And we will also have this in the description underneath. At the end of this video, we will show the parts for the total four strap system that we recommend for bears or you can double the usable parts on this list. This is what the strap looks like when you get it done. And then we have the, the buckles are one of the most important parts of this whole system. These are thermoplastic carbon buckles made by PlasticBuckle.com. PS22 model. And I use these because they're rated to 300 pounds. And this whole process is the weakest link thing. And then the straps are rated at 1,000 pounds. We also, if you don't want to gather all these supplies on your own, you can contact me through the YouTube channel, and we will supply you with these kits. The two strap for raccoons or dogs or other critters. Or we also have the four strap kit that we suggest for bears. Okay, let's get started. First thing you want to do is inspect the top of the can, make sure there's no uh, cracks in the top and that the hinges are in really good shape. If they need replacing, get a new can from, from the county or municipality. All right, we're going to take the receiving end of the buckle and our 10 inch strap, feed it through there, even it up. Now these straps, as you can see, have been cut to size and melted along the edge. We do that so they don't fray later. So make sure that you do that if you're, not, if you're buying your own materials. Okay, lay it on there. And we're going to want to go in at least a half inch to three quarters of an inch for, so we don't get too close to the edge. We'll lose strength by doing that. So we're going to go ahead and make our mark. Okay, and ream that out, and we've got our mark right there, and then I'm going to ream it out a little bit bigger with a bigger awl, so we can get our bolt through there. So we grab a bolt and a fender washer, we want the fender washer on the outside, so it gives it more strength, more to grip to and feed that right through there. Okay, and lay that up on top for a second. Grab your drill. Okay, we've got our pilot hole there. So just put it right in there. These thick flanges are very strong. So then we're gonna take our strap put it right in there. Okay? Then we take the one of the smaller washers and put that right over it. And then use the wrench with our tape on the back. Okay, snug it down and it's on there. Okay, then we're going to take the male end and the four inch strap that also has been cut and melted at the edge. Place it into the buckle. Line it up here. Now this is a little critical but you can always adjust it later so don't don't be worried about it. You want this snug but not too tight so you can get the clips connected. 
all right? Again, come in half inch to three quarters of an inch and take your scratch all and go through there and you got your mark in the thing, okay? And we're gonna undo that and then ream it out, good. Grip it real tight right there so you don't lose your hole. Grab a, another bolt with a fender washer on it. You got that set. Take your drill and we're going to go ahead and drill the hole. Okay, don't let that microplastic get away. Put that in the right spot. All right, we're going to put that in there. And let's do a double check. Okay. You want a little bit of play in there so you can get it done, but you don't want the bear to get his claws under there. Okay, I think that's about right. You can always take this off and move it a sixteenth of an inch in the webbing. You don't have to redrill the holes. Then we're going to take a washer and a nut and tighten this one down also. Get that started. Then take your, your wrench. spin it right around to get it straight. Oh. That one's a little snug, but I think that's going to be okay. And it's real easy if you need to readjust where the hole went through the webbing. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do the other side now. Okay, here we go on the other side. Our group does accept donations for supplies to promote retrofitting in various communities. All labor and installations are done by volunteers. Besides Florida, people in other states and countries are using this system, including Roaring Fork Valley Bear Coalition in Colorado. You can contact me for free help setting up a program to reduce human bear conflicts in your area. When buying large quantities of materials, you can actually reduce the cost to about $10 per can. Okay, we're about done here. Here is the parts list complete on the four strap bear retrofitting system. Okay, we got a bear proof trash can. Please like this video and share it with other people. And let's get let's give wildlife the space and respect that it needs to exist and thrive. Thanks for watching.